Okay, now we will learn how to create a 3D assembly of single riveted butt joint with double cover plate. Okay, you can see in this figure 2. So, figure 2 says that part drawings of single riveted butt joint with double cover plate. So, butt plate 2, cover plate 2, rivet is 6. Clear? So, this is how it is. That. Now you can see the first part. As soon as an assembly is given, go through the part list. The part 1 is the butt plate. Quantity is 2. You can see here 1. This is the butt plate. Similarly, cover plate 2. You can see this is the cover plate. Part number 2. Part number 3 is rivet. This is the part number 3. As you can see that they are given the diameters. Okay. So 18. 18. Okay. Thickness also they are given. Okay, now let us start the first part that is the butt plate. So, butt plate as you can see the dimension 66 by 162, 54, 54, 54 and uh, 27 and the diameter of the hole is 18. Now, let us switch on to solid works. Okay, now we will go to new, select part, select the top plane, select the top plane, click on extrude. Go to corner rectangle, create a corner rectangle, after creating a corner rectangle, dimension rectangle. So the distance they are given as 66 and this height is 162 and draw 3 circles, go to circle, draw 3 circles, 1, 2 and 3, any random circles not a problem. The dimension of this circle is 18 mm. Select this circle, select this, select this, say equal. Right? Then select the centers of the circle, make it vertical so that it will be in line. Now we will give the dimensions. So the distance from here till here, this is 27. Similarly, the distance from this the distance from this center to this line this is 27 similarly the distance from here to here this is 54 the distance from here to here will be 54 now you can see the object has become fully defined so the profile what we have drawn is fully defined now it is ready for extrusion exit sketch automatically it will start for extruding now select the mid plane as your reference plane why because when we go to the assembly this plane will help me for mirroring okay in order to mirror components this plane will help me that is why i have selected mid plane as my extrusion the thickness is 9 mm thickness is 9 mm and you can see the units mmgs millimeter gram second right click ok after this save the file Give the part name as butt plate. Click on save. Close this file. Click on new part. Select top plane. Click on extrude. Now let us extrude the cover plate. So draw a rectangle. Dimension this rectangle as 108. Click OK. Similarly, there is dimension 162, click OK. After this, draw only one circle, okay? Don't draw all six circles, draw one circle. Let us try to make use of this linear sketch pattern, right? So, the distance, first let me dimension the circle, which is having 18 mm diameter. From here to here, the distance is 27. Similarly, the distance from here to here is 27. So now you can see it is fully defined and let us try to use linear sketch pattern. I will come out of smart dimension, click on linear sketch pattern. Along x direction I want to, the distance is 54 mm, means the center to center distance. Similarly along y I want 3, the distance is 54 mm. Which object? Click here select this circle the circle is the object which i want to create a pattern right you can see the distance 54 
54 54 but I want 3 along Y that is why I mentioned 3 now you click OK exit sketch now you extrude extrude it for 6.75 this information is available in front view you can see click OK this is done now you can you could see that they are given a 10 degree clocking means you not to remove the sharp edge along the cover plate so using clocking tool they remove the material okay so I need to remove that material so I'll go to front plane shortcut is control one let me draw the sketch and let me do the extrude cut so I can select this face or else I can select the front plane itself click on sketch normal tool now let us draw line here so as you could see that there is a triangle which is created like this draw that simple triangle go to smart dimension zoom in and give the angle as 10 degree give the angle as 10 degree similar way do it on the other side go to line draw triangle initially let it be arbitrary then go to smart dimension give the angle as 10 degree so that it so that you can see the 10 degrees as well as we are satisfying the conditions which is given in the problem now exit sketch now slowly tilt using scroll button go to extrude cut now you could see that there is a 6.75 mm which is the previous value which i had given i want to completely remove that material so go to through all as soon as you select through all depending on the extrusion height so it will cut automatically you need not give the entire distance 162 hmm? click ok once you click ok you could see so in front view control one you can see the taper 10 degree as well as in top view you could see there are two lines so save this file file save shortcut is control s cover plate right next part is rivet so go to new part select front plane you can click on revolve center line draw a center line draw a center line now draw the rivet how do i draw the rivet go to line draw an approximate line here as well as here as well as here now you go to arc by center point use this as your center draw an arc up to this similar way use this as a center draw an arc up to this clear now complete this by drawing line so remember the profile should be closed now let us see the dimension this is 14.4 this is 14.4 same this should be 9 mm this length is 22.5 mm now comes the problem because we are not given constraint so let us give the constraint center of the arc should coincide with this line hold control key this line or this end point okay select these two make it horizontal similar way here also the center of this and this end point should be horizontal okay it should be in the same line initially since we are not given constraint so the probability is the center can move along the axis we are not given any constraint now let us fix this object also this object can move right you can see here it can move in and out so what i can do is i can make use of the constraints again select the origin select the end point say merge now it cannot move it is fully defined even if you try to pull the object will not be moved now exit sketch see here automatically the axis has been taken as my revolution and it has been revolved for 360 we can give it for 180 and check how it appears see half of the rivet right since my requirement is 360 degree i'll give 360 and say okay so this is how rivet is done control s r i v e t rivet rivet done now let us start the assembly go to new assembly select the first part that is the butt plate butt plate open this is the butt 
now you can observe this front plane top plane right plane this is with respect to the assembly and this front plane top plane right plane is with respect to the component both are different see here this is the front plane of the assembly this is the front plane of the component let us try to overlap these two how do i do it you can see f here it stands for it is fixed I, right now i cannot move the first component whichever you import will be fixed right click on this click on float once you float it is free to move select this origin select this origin you can see the blue dot and i will say mate i will say mate click ok once it is float then only it can move if you try to apply this mate when the object is fixed definitely you can't apply this mate ok now let me fix this ok this duty is done you, now you can check the front plane of the assembly front plane of the component both are same right this will be helpful for me when i do the mirroring when i do the pattern now let us do the mirror now go to mirror component mirroring plane is this mirroring component is this click ok so we have created two butt plates now you can see in the part list they are given clearly butt plate 2 so these are the two butt plates and we have two cover plates also one on top the other one at the bottom let us import that cover plate click ok next let us go to mate you can select this you can select this click ok now you can see it can rotate it can move up and down so how to restrict the rotation is by selecting more circle click ok now it cannot rotate it can move up and down select this object select this object now you can see it is completely constrained fully defined fully defined clear so it is fully defined now let me try to do the mirror of this how do i do the mirror you can see here the top plane is exactly in the middle why it is in the middle because when i extruded this butt plate i took mid plane as my extrusion plane on both the sides i had extruded for 4.5 4.5 that is why top plane is in the middle this will be helpful for me to do to do the mirroring how to do the mirroring is go to mirror components mirroring plane use this tree you can select this top plane this top plane. both are same select the top plane mirrors to <coughs> components to mirror this is the component which i want to mirror click ok like this you can create the assembly of butt plate cover plates now let me insert the last component rivet click ok open now you can see the rivet click on mate select the cylinder select the cylinder click ok you can see it can move up and down so i'll select this face i'll select this face so that it's completely fixed still it can rotate not a problem right because it is revolved so it will not create a problem next what i will do is i will try to create a pattern out of this so go to linear component pattern direction one this is direction one and this is direction two along this direction i want three so i'll mention three the distance between the centers is 54 mm similarly here the distance between the centers is 54 i want two in this direction inclusive of this so components to pattern this is the component now you could see that it is coming out of the object so you can see the direction so direction two the arrow mark pointing is away i want in this direction you can click on this so that the direction is reversed now click ok so once you click ok you can see the assembly is done okay now let us try to draft the assembly first let me save this file it is single riveted but joint with double cover plates assembly is completed now let us draft this so they have given us to show the front view top view side view so let me generate the front view top view side view how do i generate the front view top view side view is close this so let me click on new drawing a4 display sheet format switch it off make it into a landscape format 297 210 mm click ok always keep an eye on the units right click on sheet 1 go to properties 
Select first, first angle, apply changes, very important. Select first angle. Now, he, by using either palette or you can go to drawing, anything. So I'll go to your palette, I'll browse the assembly file which we have created just now. Browse that file, assembly file, not the part file. You can see clearly here, SOLIDWORKS part document, SOLIDWORKS assembly document. Select the assembly, click on open. It will generate its front view, top view, side view, okay? So let me select the top view and drag it and drop it on the drawing sheet. Now, if you want to visualize the sectional front view, you can go to section view, select the horizontal section plane, anywhere along this line, click, click OK, click OK. Now you could see how it appears in the front view. Similarly, how to generate the side views, click on projected view, click on this front view. This is how it appears in side view. Okay, this is how it appears in isometric view. So select this, place it here. Let me make it a shaded model view. Select this, let the hidden lines be active for all the views. And let us do the bill of material. Click on this. Now you go to annotations. There we have tables. Click on tables. Here we will select bill of materials. Click OK. Now you can see the bill of materials has been created. I can delete this material information, not a requirement. So I can see here, but plates to cover plates to rivet six. So these name are reflected from your file name. Okay, whatever the file name you give, the same name will be written for part number. The ordering depends on which how we have imported the series or the sequence in which we have imported the parts during assembly, right? So that is how this numbering has been done. Here to show those parts, you can click on this, go to auto balloon. Automatically it detects the component and it will show you the components, rivets, power plates, done. Now you can dimension it. So you know the dimensioning. So this is the butt plate. You know how to remove double zeros. Go to options, document properties, dimensions remove trailing zeros click ok so that 9.00 is shown as 9 okay next let us dimension the rivets 18 mm you can dimension the cover plates okay you can dimension the cover plates similarly you can dimension the width the height so really the spacing so i'll try to dimension few of the things so remaining things you can dimension it when you practice so like this you can do the drafting and you can show us smart dimension click on this 14.4 right okay this ends the modeling of a riveted joint. Thank you for listening.